If I could be as I am during surgery all the time, I think it would be, really? you know, a blissful existence. For people who play some sports or play some instruments or, or paint, uh, they will understand it's like being on the groove, being on the moment. You, you're not thinking about anything else. About one million babies every year born with congenital heart defect and 200 to 250,000 dying of a congenital heart defect, a critical congenital heart defect in the first year of life. I'm uh, Marcel Cardavelli. I'm uh, one of the surgeons and co-founder of the Novik Cardiac Alliance. Uh, with Dr. Marcelo, this is my first time working with him or assisting. Uh, you know, working with him is an honor to me, to be honest. He got so much you can learn from him and so much experience. My first official trip was to Kharkiv in Ukraine. Spent a fair amount of time in Iraq, spent time in uh, Libya. I spent an extremely long time going to uh, Macedonia. Uh, one of the success stories of, of the foundation, you know, where a program now is completely independent and we don't go anymore, which is the objective. We treat everybody as, a, as they have no politics, no religion, no color, no nationality. We don't care. Uh, everybody deserves to have their heart fixed, their diseases cured and treated, period. So we are right now working in Al Rashaya, which is at the heart of the Beka Valley. And we're about 13 kilometers or something like that from the Syrian border over the mountains. And uh, that's where the refugees come from, the, the vast majority now. In Lebanon, we do have more than a million and a half Syrian refugees. Uh, most of them are registered officially and others just ran away from war in, in Syria. It's very hard to imagine what a refugee goes through. You know, you suddenly you, you were told you need to leave your country with what you can carry. It's a, a terrible, terrible condition. And your child is born with a heart defect, a deadly heart defect. The fact that we can develop a program in a government and hospital here in, in Al Rashaya uh, will be great in the sense that we provide a place for people to come have heart surgery that otherwise wouldn't be able to have it. We, our goal is always to help develop pediatric heart centers uh, for cardiology and cardiac surgery that become self-sustainable. So the most important part is the discussion of the cases on the first day when we get to a place. And we sit with the cardiologists and we discuss every single patient that we're going to operate. About 15, 14, 15 children with congenital heart disease and they, uh, we confirm the diagnosis, uh, find out the new things that we didn't know decided who needs to go to a catheterization to find out more information, who goes straight to surgery. We are in CATLAB now. CATLAB is a catheterization laboratory, so which allows us to do a diagnostic and interventional procedures. In this girl, he has a very severe congenital heart disease. If pulmonary vessels are still reactive, so we may put her on sildenafil for some time, and bosentan, uh, drugs which dilate uh, pulmonary vessels, and then maybe operate. You kind of detach yourself a little bit from the moment, in the moment of the surgery, from all the consequences. You're not thinking if I do this wrong, or if anything happens, the child, you know, the, this is a child, the mother is outside, the father is outside. You're just focusing on doing the right thing. We have the help of Dr. Walid Sharon, the local surgeon. It's the first time he works with me, and as days go by, you can see how he is 
begin to get into the flow and his uh, Pure Heart Foundation, which are the ones who, you know, they're the glue that brings everything together and uh, provide all the local logistics for us to be able to do what we do. Pure Heart Foundation was established to help uh, saving kids born with congenital heart disease. And one of the main goals is to establish a team in Lebanon and definitely in governmental hospitals because we don't have any governmental hospital in Lebanon doing pediatric cardiac surgery. My name is Nidal Ali and I'm the country director for Islamic Relief Worldwide Lebanon office. And I went and uh, visited Dr. Walid in his hospital and I was impressed with the kind of uh, vision and when he explained to me the project about uh, training doctors and doing surgeries for kids, helping, helping their, their, their hearts to, 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 to keep pumping and pumping healthy, uh, I, was, I was really uh, attached to this project. This will move Rashaya Hospital, Rashaya Government Hospital from one level to another level and be a benchmark to all other government hospitals to be on the same path to improve uh, services, to be a center of excellence. The way I like to, to put it is, imagine that you are part of a symphonic orchestra. You play one instrument, and somebody else comes and plays another instrument. You haven't played together for four years, but you do what you need to do, they do, and the music that comes out is just beautiful. Oh, we're going to go philosophical? We're trying to get philosophical. Yes. Yeah, we can go philosophical. Sometimes it's difficult to know what the right thing to do is, but once you know, how can you not do it? And this is kind of that, you know. Once you have the gift of being able to fix some of these wrongs, how can you not do it?